Welcome to Tech Wizards down here. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Can self-hosted IR be used in more than one data factory? Simple and straightforward answer is yes. So a single self-hosted IR can be used in more than one data factory. So let's say if you have created a self-hosted IR for one of the data factory, then you will be able to use in other data factories as well. So here, if you go to the this TBI TADF Azure Data Factory, I have created this self-hosted IR and uh, the node uh, that is my laptop um, so this is a uh, created and now I would like to use the same uh, uh, self host IR in this uh, ADF test uh, TBIT data factory so to do that uh, what I have to do I have to go to the main one uh, where this is a uh, created so now you're gonna go right there and then go to sharing uh, here uh, what you will do you will add uh, the data factory uh, for which uh, you want to share this uh, uh, self hosted IR and uh, let's consider this is the one we want we would like to share with them so this is another data factory we would like to add now you're gonna hit add button and it's gonna show you right here so once uh, it is uh, shown you here what you will do you will copy this um, resource ID and then uh, you're gonna go to the uh, data factory where you would like to share this one uh, you are going to go to the new and uh, then uh, you will say azure self-hosted ir next uh, and here uh, you will uh, use the linked self-hosted uh, you will uh, hit uh, continue and then uh, you will provide the name here and then the resource id right there once you do that you will hit create uh, and it is going to go ahead and create uh, this linked uh, self-hosted ir um, so, so so you see right here the subtype is called the linked uh, and uh, this is the same uh, self host IR uh, that's actually created in our TBIT ADF. Uh, and we have shared uh, in the ADF uh, test uh, TBIT data factory. So right here you will see link to where it is linked uh, and you will not see other tabs. Uh, you are only seeing settings, nodes and auto update. Um, these are the only three uh, uh, tabs uh, you are seeing here. Okay, in actual uh, where it was created, uh, uh, you are gonna see. So in actual data factory where uh, this uh, link uh, self host IR is created, uh, you are gonna see uh, the shared uh, subtype. Um, and here you will click on on that uh, self host IR. You will see more tabs. Um, you are gonna see settings here, notes here, auto update, sharing, and the links. Um, and here is a list of all those uh, your data factories uh, where uh, you have uh, created. Uh, created that uh, link the self hosted IR. So in case uh, if you want to remove it, uh, you have the option uh, here, go to sharing and uh, just uh, remove that. Then uh, this uh, self hosted IR will not be uh, shared uh, anymore uh, with other data factory. So a couple of things that uh, you want to make sure uh, from here, uh, you have that information or keep in, mi keep in mind. Uh, so notice here I'm using single host, uh, single node here. That means uh, I have uh, lim limited some uh, concurrent jobs and I can increase that uh, the concurrency. I believe the max is 32 or something like that. So if I will do 34, actually this is 24 max uh, what we have right there. Uh, now in this case, uh, if uh, you are sharing across uh, 10 uh, data factories uh, and uh, you can uh, notice here uh, see on single node, uh, uh, you will uh, try to run a lot of jobs so that's going to be problem huh? so it is a single node single node uh, CPU memory will be used uh, for and uh, as uh, you will be running the pipeline from different data factories that's going to be a lot of pressure so in those case of scenarios uh, you might want to add more nodes uh, uh, to the self hosted IER uh, there are four nodes you can add as of now and uh, then uh, you can share across multiple data factories and use them um, thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video